science that deals with the structure and behavior of matter. Origin of Word Chemistry Comes from Arab word alchemia which means the art of transformation. The Scope of Chemistry Chemistry is the study of matter and the ways in which different forms of matter combine with each other. You study chemistry because it helps you to understand the world around you. Everything you touch or taste or smell is a chemical, and the interactions of these chemicals with each other define our universe. Chemistry forms the fundamental basis for biology and medicine. As chemistry scope different other field which can be seen in the flow chart. History of Chemistry The history of chemistry is an interesting and challenging one. Very early chemists were often motivated mainly by the achievement of a specific goal or product. Making perfume or soaps did not need a lot of theory, just a good recipe and careful attention to detail. There was no standard way of naming materials, and no periodic table that we could all agree on. It is often difficult to figure out exactly what a particular person was using. However, the science developed over the centuries by trial and error. Major progress was made in putting chemistry on a solid foundation when Robert Boyle, 1637-1691, began his research in chemistry figure 1.1.3. He developed the basic ideas about the behavior of gases. He could then describe gases mathematically. Boyle also helped form the idea that small particles could combine to form molecules. Many years later, John Dalton used these ideas to develop the atomic theory. Branches of Chemistry There are five major branches of chemistry which are Organic Chemistry Organic chemistry is the study of carbon and its compounds, the study of the chemistry of life. In organic chemistry, the study of compounds not covered by organic chemistry, the study of inorganic compounds, or compounds that don't contain a CH bond, many inorganic compounds contain metals. Physical chemistry. The branch of chemistry that applies physics to the study of chemistry, which commonly includes the applications of thermodynamics and quantum mechanics to chemistry. Analytical chemistry. The study of the chemistry of matter and the development of tools to measure properties of matter. Biochemistry. The study of chemical processes that occur inside of living organisms. Pure and applied chemistry. Pure chemistry the pursuit of chemical knowledge for its own sake. Applied chemistry research that is directed toward a practical goal or application. Nylon and aspirin are examples of the two. Why study chemistry? Everyone and everything around us involves chemistry, explains our world. What in the world isn't chemistry? Helps you make choices helps make you a better informed citizen. A possible career for your future. Used to attain a specific goal. What did we describe as pure and applied chemistry? Summary of study strategies. The will to succeed is important, but what's more important is the will to prepare. Bobby Knight, basketball coach. Read the chapter in the textbook before it is covered in the lecture. Attend the class meetings, take notes, and participate in class discussions. Reread the textbook, working the exercises, and marking important sections. More study strategies. Use the chapter objectives as a focus of study. Use the computer-based tools that accompany the course. Work some of the problems at the end of the chapter. Ask for help when you need it. Review for the exam. The scientific method The scientific method is a logical, systematic approach to the solution of a scientific problem. When you use your senses to obtain information, you make an observation. A hypothesis is a proposed explanation for an observation. An experiment is a procedure that is used to test a hypothesis. When you design experiments, you deal with variables, or factors that can change. The variable that you change during an experiment is the manipulated variable, 
or independent variable. The variable that is observed during the experiment is the responding variable, or dependent variable. Developing theories Once a hypothesis meets the test of repeated experimentation, it may become a theory. A theory is a well-tested explanation for a broad set of observations. A theory may need to be changed at some point in the future to explain new observations or experimental results. Scientific Laws A scientific law is a concise statement that summarizes the results of many observations and experiments. A scientific law doesn't try to explain the relationship it describes. That explanation requires a theory. Further it can be explained by the help of flowchart. Scientific method controlled experiments Designed to test the hypothesis Only two possible answers Hypothesis is supported Hypothesis is refuted We gather data and observations by doing the experiment Modify the hypothesis if needed and repeat the process Chapter map Can be explained by the help of flowchart A value is a quantitative description that includes both a unit and a number. For 100 meters, the meter is a unit by which distance is measured, and the 100 is the number of units contained in the measured distance. Units are quantities defined by standards that people agree to use to compare one event or object to another. It can be explained by the help of a table given below. Derived unit can be explained by the help of cubic meter. Some base units and their abbreviations for the International System of Measurement. It can be explained by the help of a table given below. Metric prefixes. It can be explained by the help of a table given below. Scientific notation. Numbers expressed in scientific notation have the following form can be explained below with the help of diagram. For x, 5.5 times 1021 carbon atoms in a 0.55 carat diamond. 5.5 is the coefficient. 1021 is the exponential term. The 21 is the exponent. The coefficient usually has one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. Uncertainty. The coefficient reflects the number's uncertainty. It is common to assume that coefficient is plus or minus 1 in the last position reported unless otherwise stated. Using this guideline, 5.5 times 1021 carbon atoms in a 0.55 carat diamond suggests that there are from 5.4 times 1021 to 5.6 times 1021 carbon atoms in a stone size, magnitude, of number. The exponential term shows the size or magnitude of the number. Positive exponents are used for large numbers. For example, the moon orbits the sun at 2.2 times 104 or 22,000 miles per hour. 2.2 times 104 equals 2.2 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equals 22,000. Negative exponents are used for small numbers. For example, a red blood cell has a diameter of about 5.6 times 104 or 0.00056 inches. From decimal number to scientific notation. Shift the decimal point until there is one non-zero number to the left of the decimal point, counting the number of positions the decimal point moves. Write the resulting coefficient times an exponential term in which the exponent is positive if the decimal point was moved to the left and negative if the decimal position was moved to the right. The number in the exponent is equal to the number of positions the decimal point was shifted. For example, when 22,000 is converted to scientific notation, the decimal point is shifted four positions to the left so the exponential term has an exponent of 4. Further it can be explained with the help of diagram. 
when 0.00056 is converted to scientific notation, the decimal point is shifted four positions to the right so the exponential term has an exponent of minus 4. Scientific notation to decimal number. Shift the decimal point in the coefficient to the right if the exponent is positive and to the left if it is negative. The number in the exponent tells you the number of positions to shift the decimal point. Multiplying exponential terms. When multiplying exponential terms, add exponents. When dividing exponential terms, subtract exponents. Raising exponential terms to a power. When raising exponential terms to a power, multiply exponents. Further it can be explained with the help of diagram. Length Range of lengths It Volume Range of volumes Mass and weight Mass is usually defined as a measure of the amount of matter in an object. Mass can be defined as the property of matter that leads to gravitational attractions between objects and therefore gives rise to weight. Matter is anything that occupies a volume and has a mass. The weight of an object, on the Earth, is a measure of the force of gravitational attraction between the object and the Earth. Further can be explained by the help of table given below. Mass Range of masses Celsius and Fahrenheit temperature Comparing temperature scales Precision and accuracy Precision describes how closely a series of measurements of the same object resemble each other. The closer the measurements are to each other, the more precise the measurement. The precision of a measurement is not necessarily equal to its accuracy. Accuracy is a measurement's relationship to the property's true value. Reporting values from measurements One of the conventions that scientists use for reporting numbers from measurements is to report all of the certain digits and one estimated, and thus uncertain, digit. Graduated cylinder Trailing zeros Digital readout Report all digits unless otherwise instructed. In many cases, it is best to round the number in the value to fewer decimal positions than displayed. For the mass displayed above, 100.432 grams would indicate plus minus 0.001 grams. It can be explained by the help of diagram. Materials Chemists use specific materials to meet specific needs. Macroscopic describes the world of objects that are large enough to see with the unaided eye. Microscopic world of objects that can be seen only under magnification. Scientific methodological, systematic approach to the solution of a scientific problem. Steps in the scientific method include making observations, testing hypotheses, and developing theories. Hypothesis, is a proposed explanation for an observation. A hypothesis is useful only if it accounts for what is actually observed. When experimental data does not fit a hypothesis, the hypothesis must be changed. Experiment, a procedure that is used to test a hypothesis. When you design experiments, you deal with variables, or factors that can change. The variable that you change during an experiment is the manipulated variable, or independent variable. The variable that is observed during the experiment is the responding variable, or dependent variable. Kamen Chemistry Lab Equipment The tools of science Safety goggles Must be worn for all chemistry labs Protect eyes from chemicals Beaker Used to hold and transfer liquids Used to make approximate measurements Use a beaker that is about twice the capacity of the volume of liquid you need to hold Beaker tongs Used to transfer hot beakers Coated with plastic that can melt 
crucible tongs. Used to hold crucibles and very hot items. Earl and Mia air flask. Used to hold and transfer liquids. Can be stoppered. Watch glass. Used as a surface to evaporate a liquid, to hold solids while being weighed, or as a cover for a beaker. Test tubes and test tube rack. Test tubes are used to carry out chemical reactions. When not in a test tube holder or a clamp, put test tubes in a test tube rack. Burette. Dispense exact volumes of liquid. They are used during a process called titration. Volume measured from the bottom of meniscus. Ring stand and iron ring. Provide structural support for various attachments that are usually used to hold glassware. The iron ring holds a wire gauze, triangle, or funnel on the ring stand. Utility clamp. Used to hold glassware in place on the ring stand. Triangle. Rests on iron rings and are used to hold funnels during filtering or crucibles during heating. Wire gauze. Covers the iron ring to provide a flat surface for beakers when heating them. Funnel. Can be used with filter paper to filter fluids. They can also be used for transferring fluids. Crucible. Used to hold small amounts of a substance to be heated or dehydrated. Bunsen burner. Produce a flame used to heat, dehydrate, or sterilize substances in the lab. Striker. Produce sparks to light buns and burners. Hot plate. Used to heat solutions. Mortar and pestle. Used to grind solids into powders. Thermometer. Used to measure temperature. Not for stirring. Stirring rod. Used for stirring chemicals. Scupula. Used to transfer solids. Disposable pipette. Used to transfer small quantities of liquids. The test tube brush. A very important piece of equipment. For you to use to clean test tubes and graduated cylinders. Chemistry far and wide. Identify some areas of research affected by chemistry. Describe some examples of research in chemistry. Distinguish between macroscopic and microscopic views. Chemists design materials to fit specific needs, Velcro, patented in 1955, on page 12. Perfume, steel, ceramics, plastics, rubber, paints, nonstick cooking utensils, polyester fibers. Two different ways to look at the world, macroscopic and microscopic. Energy, we constantly have greater demands. We can conserve it, use wisely. We can try to produce more, oil from soybeans to make biodiesel. Fossil fuels, solar, batteries, that store energy, rechargeable? Nuclear, don't forget pollution. Medicine and biotechnology. Supply materials doctors use to treat patients. Vitamin C, penicillin, aspirin. C9HA204. Materials for artery transplants and hip bones. Bacteria producing insulin. Agriculture. Produce the world's food supply. Use chemistry for better productivity, soil, water, weeds. Plant growth hormones. Ways to protect crops, insecticides. Disease resistant plants. The environment. Both risks and benefits involved in discoveries. Pollutants need to be 1. Identified and 2. Prevented. Lead paint was prohibited in 1978, leaded gasoline. Drinking water? Carbon dioxide, ozone, global warming. The universe. Need to gather data from afar, and analyze matter brought back to Earth. Composition of the planets. Analyze moon rocks. Planet atmospheres. Life on other planets, 